Time Travel Paranoia. <sighs> Hello everybody, my name is Damon and welcome back to Steins Gate. Last we left off, we finally found the hidden potential of the na of the phone wave name TBA. And that potential is, in fact, that the the phone wave name TBA is a time machine. <sighs> But more importantly than that, obviously, we have mail! And who do we have mail from? Shining Finger. Let's see what Moika has to say. Moika here, are you a student, okay, son? Okay, kun, sorry. Are you on summer break? Moika. Are you a day person or a night person? If you'd rather email you around the same time, let me know. I want to reply as soon as I can. Or as soon as you. I want you to reply as soon as you can, but I don't want to be bothered, so let me know, okay? By the way, I don't like talking on the phone, so please don't call me. Bye bye, Moika. I just remembered, I did not tell you my phone number. Oh, that's okay. I'm not more comfortable communicating by email anyway. What about you, Okobe-kun? Are you asleep? Are you still asleep? Why is it shine? Have you talked to the super hacker yet? Oh, I'd also like to hear more about John What's his face I'm super curious, Moika. 328, what do you mean rise and shine? What the hell do you mean rise and shine? I'm nocturnal, so I don't usually go to bed until the sun comes up. It's not so bad once you get used to it. Maybe when you make up, okay? When you make up, when you wake up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, sorry, sorry, I need to amp myself up for this. The dawn of a new day. Actually, it's already noon. We didn't sleep at all. Sleep deprivation makes the summer sea, the summer sun seem all the brighter. I really don't want to go outside, but I'm fed up with the humidity inside the lab. I chug a bottle of Dr. P. Ugh, my stomach protest. Maybe I drank it too fast. I'm exhausted. My hands are shaking slightly, and my vision's cloudy. I could pass out if I'm not careful. Maybe I should just go take a shower. <laughs> that should stave off exhaustion, if only temporarily. This building has a basic shower room. There's no bath, but it's enough. The lab would be hell without it. Uh, so, what happened, Nokabe, since uh, last we left off? Dar was at his computer, his back turned towards me. His right leg is bouncing impatiently. The room is mostly silent, save for the electric fans humming and Dar's mouse clicks. He doesn't look my way, and doesn't try to start a conversation. Yeah, well, we aren't either. I am not either, whatever. Neither do I, yeah. I don't have the energy. Outside is a sunny summer afternoon, but inside the air is stale and empty of life. It's like a box of hell. Yesterday, that shocking experiment convinced me that the phone wave named TBA was also a time machine. But Kurisu didn't seem willing to accept the results. She just started screaming. Time machine? A time machine? It can't be! <laughs> then she took a mad dash out of the lab. <laughs> it was like she couldn't get out of here fast enough. As for Mayuri, she was depressed about her chicken and bananas. So she skipped her daily costume sewing and went home. Grudges for over food run deep, I guess. Which leaves the lab empty, save for Darwin and me. Our enthusiasm shot through the roof when we realized that the phone wave named TBA had tremendous hidden potential. We nearly died of excitement after successfully sending an email to the past. So we stayed up all night doing experiments to confirm whether or not the, na the phone wave named TBA is indeed a time machine. The results, however... <sighs> well, we went to the supermarket and stocked up on a wide variety of items. We tossed each item into the phone wave named TBA. Everything failed. No change. Nothing happened. After the experiment, where the discharge phenomenon occurred, everything warmed up normally. No jellification. I wonder why. Suddenly, we couldn't get anything to happen. <laughs> we still have no idea why. First, let's review the problems revealed by those last round of experiments. Okay, let's see these problems of yours, Oak Bay. Problem 1. Electrical discharge safety precautions. We removed everything flammable from the development room to reduce risk of fire. We also prepared two fire buckets full of water, just in case. I'm assuming that's what all this... Garbage here is. I don't think it was there before, so I'm guessing they moved all of it to the side. But that's not a fundamental solution. We'll keep an eye out for now, or keep an eye out from now on. But if things get dangerous, we should seriously reconsider relocating our experiments. Okay, I guess that's fair. Mass increase. When the discharge phenomenon occurs, the phone wave named GBA suddenly gains mass for unknown reasons. Because of this, a microwave broke through the table and made a dent in the floor. Yeah, that's kind of a problem, I guess. Though I'm I'm wondering how you're so convinced that it's 
the mass of the microwave increasing because if the mass of the entire microwave increased randomly wouldn't the microwave itself have like broken like wouldn't the the root if it, it uh the, the the table was able to to weigh hold like 400 pounds or something right if the microwave suddenly weighed over 400 pounds and it had to have because it shattered through the table and shattered into the floor if it weighed that much wouldn't the microwave have collapsed in on itself because it's not that big and you have what what is it this is like made of like aluminum or something or probably not aluminum i don't know what microwaves are made out of but i guess whatever was in the microwave weighed that much not the outside but if that was the case wouldn't it have broken through the bottom of the microwave i don't really understand anyways to deal with the issue we place the microwave on the floor we spread cushions and blankets underneath side the hole in the floor too for now it's only a temporary fix though if we make any more holes mr braun is quite capable of raising my rent that's different from the anime because in the anime it definitely did make a hole in the floor it wasn't just a dent it broke through the floor it crashed in it was like halfway stuck and then mr braun was like what the fuck and that's to say nothing of the calamity will cause if it does fall through the floor. Anyway, we need to find the source of the mass increase. If amateurs like us even can, that is. But the first two problems pale before the third. This last problem is critical. Until we solve it, we can't really even experiment with a phone wave. Just, just, just ditch the name TBA part. Problem three. We're not even sure of the necessary conditions to send the email to the past. No matter how many times we tried, we couldn't pin down a single condition. We spent the entire night doing trial and error. We tried over 40 different things, but not once could we reproduce the discharge phenomenon. Alright, well let's think about this. You have the phone, you send the phone, the text to a number that's attached to the phone wave. The phone that's attached to the phone wave, you send a number to that. While, some, while the phone wave is active, um... And then, you, they open the microwave, which caused the discharge. But, that's not what happened the first time, right? That's not what happened to... Um... That's not what happened to Daru. Daru didn't open the microwave, and... Then, you know... the He, he didn't open the microwave, and the discharge didn't happen, but it was still sent to the past. Though I guess you could argue, he never opened the microwave because the past changed, therefore the future changed and his present changed when he was opening it. He never opened it in the first place because of the email, bullshit, whatever. But, I don't know. I had the idea that opening the microwave door was the key, and that theory was proven false. There might be something else I'm missing, but for now we're at an impasse. We started off in high spirits, but grew more and more frustrated as time progressed, which brings us to the present. Honestly, I gave up. That's why I spent the entire morning lazing about like this. Another email pops up on my phone! I've been getting way too many of these since yesterday. I wonder who it's from! Shining Finger again. 12.34, you sleep too much. Well, I guess this is fair enough. This is a lot later than 3 o'clock. I haven't gotten a reply yet. Are you still asleep? You sleep too much? Okay, Bisan. Okay, Kuhn. I keep saying Sun. I thought it's Kuhn. Whatever. You're living like an old man. Well, I guess I'm not one to talk. Lemo, anyway. Let me know when you have something on the IBN 5100. Pretty please, Noika. Moika. Noika. Fuckika. Moi fuck. They're all from Shining Finger. The woman called Ki Kiryu Moika. I've never used email this often before. Even my Yuri only sends me one or two a day. And she's a teenage girl. Frankly, this is starting to get on my nerves. I saw how fast Shining Finger typed. That should have been enough to tip me off that she was a male demon. I was careless. It's too much of a pain to reply, so I ignore it. I mean, it's not like it gives me an option to reply. I finished with my bottle of Dr. P. My stomach gurgles. Yeah, um, I don't drink soda, but if I if I if I did, the and the the few times that I do, which is like never, but if I were to drink soda, I probably wouldn't chug the entire thing for absolutely no reason. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. I'm so hungry. I don't even feel like showering. I call out to Daru, who's hammering on the keyboard. Hey, wanna go to Sanbo for some beef bowl? 
Uh, nah, too much trouble. Aren't you hungry? Yeah, but... Oh my god! Oh, Mayuri, okay. Mayushi's spending money... Mayushi's spending money is getting dangerously low. You and Darwin need to chip in sometimes. You don't want to get between me and my food. Don't get angry. Next time I treat you to something you want to eat. So keep buying more bananas for the sake of all experiments. Food. You eat too much anyway. Go on a diet before it's too late. What the fuck? No. Ah, uh, she's crying. Um, give me a second. Give me a second, my hurry. I will save. God, I'm going to run out of saves by the end of this. I can have 48 saves. I wonder if that's important to anything, that number. Don't get angry. Next time, I'll treat you to anything you want to eat. So keep buying more bananas for the sake of our experiments. Mail sent. So I can't reply to any of these from Shining Finger. Can't reply to these old ones, whatever. Yeah, but... Er, yeah, but... <laughs> Yo, it's such a bum. What is doing on the... What is doing on the computer anyway? What is on the computer, Daru? What is doing on the computer? Yes? What is doing? I'm curious, so I casually peek over his shoulder. There's an image of a futuristic looking facility I've never seen before. Richly colored cores crawl through a gigantic octagonal tunnel, like the interior of a spaceship from a sci-fi movie. Based on the height of the people in the picture, the tunnel looks to be more than 10 meters tall. Incidentally, the people don't look Japanese. I... How could you tell? There was one person there and he was facing his back to you. <sighs> Dirty eyes, hardly. I don't know if the blank look in his eyes is from sleepiness, exhaustion, or something's just wrong with him. The Large Hadron Collider sure is cute. I wouldn't call it cute. Oh, what? What did you just say? Large Hardron Hardron Kaliander? Kaliander? Is that an incantation? No. A secret technique? Large Hadron Collider. You don't know about it? I grab Dar's relaxed shoulders and wring them out. Oh, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Are you conscious? Of course, man. What is this Large Hadron Collider thing? Uh, you know, it's what CERN uses to do their experiments. LHC for short. It's seriously moe. Recommended. <laughs> You're lusting for something that's not even humanoid? Of course not. But there's something about it that gets me excited, you know? It makes you smile, you know? Don't you feel that? Uh, come to think of it, I remember you said that you found factories in the undersides of highways irresistible or something. Yeah, same thing. Uh, where does it end? 2D, 3D, and even inanimate objects. Life's too short. I don't want to limit my interest, you know. And yet, you'll do anything to avoid the things that don't interest you. Hypocrite. CERN. That name. The music's gone! I've seen it somewhere. And recently. Where was it? I wonder if you could let me check at channel at some point and it's gonna let us use the internet. Oh, of course. Titer! It's Teeter! It's John Teeter, not Taito! It's Teeter. John Teeter. Oh, yeah! That guy you mentioned earlier. He's the guy at channel is going crazy about, isn't he? That one might be an imposter. I was talking about the John Teeter who appeared 10 years ago. He appeared 10 years ago? Same guy? I'd hope that Dara would remember, but no such luck. <sighs> anyway, John Teeter mentioned CERN. I don't remember all of it, but there's one thing I'm sure of. Teeter made a prediction, namely that before the year 2034, CERN would develop a time machine. Whoa, a time machine? That's a timely topic. But that was in 10 years ago. And this new titer said, Teeter said the same thing. 
It doesn't matter if it was 10 years ago or 10 seconds ago. That's not the point, Daru. This coincide this coincidence could very well be the choice of Stein's Gate. Uh, can we trust this theater guy? <laughs> it doesn't matter if we trust him or not. Now we have something in common. A time machine. <coughs> we should investigate CERN. We've got nothing to lose. Vigor returns to my body. Curiosity truly is the greatest delicacy for a mad scientist like me. Anyway, phone we've named TBA experiment has hit a dead end for now. So it shouldn't matter if I make a little detour for this. Tell me everything you know about CERN. Sure thing. My CERN folder is smoking hot. Dart strikes his keys with renewed passion. Jesus, that's a lot of CERN. He goes to the My Pictures folder and opens a folder literally called CERN. CERN is the world's largest particle of physics research institution. It's properly called the European Laboratory for Particle Physics or European Organization for Nuclear Research. It's closely it's close to the border of Switzerland and France, on the outskirts of Geneva. It's famous as the birthplace of HTML, HTTP, and the World Wide Web. The World Wide Web? Do you mean the internet? Bingo! <laughs> that thing at the beginning of most URLs. CERN invented that? All I know about CERN is what I read Teeter's book. I never knew they were so amazing. All I knew about T CERN is what I read Teeter's book. Where is the spell check in this shit? Come on, this was released like 10 years ago and this is an, an updated remake for the PC. Where is your spell check? Grammar check bullshit. I know it's Japanese, but whatever. Most people aren't aware, but there's a Japanese research team working at CERN too. Mm, what sort of research does CERN do? Particle physics, mostly. CERN could do experiments no one else can, because they have the biggest particle accelerators in the world. The low energy anti-proton ring, the proton synchrotron booster, and the large electron pr position collider. And the big boss is the largest accelerator in the world, the LHC, Large Hadron Kaleidoton. Tan? Taku possesses the ability to anthropomorphize in my form just by anything in the world, and by sticking Tan at the end of the name. Dara's powers encompass even particle accelerators. Let's see how many tips I've missed so far. That's why we love you. Full quote, that's why we love you. That's why we admire you. A quotation from the popular manga, Juju's Bizarre Adventure. It is? I don't recall that. Used to express awe in someone's capabilities, often used sarcastically in reference to negative character traits such as pettiness. Noradrenaline, a neurotransmitter secreted in the brain. Proper term? Secreted when in an excited emotional state. But I refuse! I remember that. Quotation for the popular manga Juju's Bizarre Adventures. On the internet, it's frequently used as a cool way to turn someone down. Quantum teleportation. Does not refer to actual teleportation. In 2004, Japanese researchers performed the first successful complete quantum leap experiment. Suppose we have twin particles, photons in this case, A and B. Because they are twins, they have the property of symmetry. If one exhibits upspin, the other will exhibit downspin. This means that observing either particle allows us to know the state of the other. This is called entanglement. The state of an elementary pa particle, photon, cannot be confirmed until observed. For the experiment, we detach data we attach data C, the information we want to teleport to photon A. We are now observing photon A to C. Er photon A to C. Based on the property of symmetry, we know that no matter how far we may be, photon B will change to match, effectively becoming B C. Note that photon B has not yet been observed. Afterwards, we send photon A C's information from A's observation equipment to B's observation equipment through standard transmission. Now observing photon B will change it to photon B C. This process is called quantum teleportation because data C changes position instantly. However, since one step requires using standard data transmission, it is impossible for the information to exceed the speed of light. Finally, photon BC's teleported data C is actually a copy of photon AC's data C. The whereabouts of the original photon AC become unknown. The point differentiates quantum teleportation from actual teleportation, I see. DOS, short for disk operating system, not early 16-bit operating system. HTML, hypertext markup language. I, we know what HTML is, language, yeah, whatever. Hypertext transfer protocol, the communication protocol, ba da ba. 
World Wide Web, abbreviated as WWW, it's the internet. Uh, and anthropomorphism. To represent a non-human entity as a humanoid character. Animals and military hardware are among the most common subjects, but anything can be anthropomorphized. Even abstract concepts, chemical elements, and countries. What consoles? <laughs> Anyways. Daru doesn't seem to notice my shock. He just brings up the next image. The LHC is a 27 kilometer long circular tunnel built underneath CERN's headquarters. Its purpose is to smash protons together in the hope of creating unknown elementary particle reactions. They started experimenting last year. But be but they started, or before they started, there were rumors that the experiments might create mini black holes. Oh no! Those mini black holes will swallow the Earth! Their universe is in danger, etc. Mini black holes. I'm pretty sure Teeter said his time machine used mini black holes. Are the things he said about CERN true? What's the possibility of that actually happening? Hold on. But, no. This is also different from the anime. We didn't, they didn't talk about CERN here. They went to go get beef bowls and they talked about CERN there. Whatever. What's the possibility of that actually happening? 100% that it won't. CERN officially denies it. <laughs> Let's say a mini black hole was formed. The amount of energy would be so tiny that be that would disappear instantly upon formation. It'd be impossible for it to swallow the whole world. But where there's smoke, there's fire. If I remember correctly, Teeter claimed that CERN began time machine research in 2001. In 2034, they complete the time machine. Right now, it's 2010. If they actually started research, it would have been nine years ago. According to their official announcements, they only began experimenting in 2008. That's suspicious. Of course, that's assuming Teeter's story is true. Some of Teeter's predictions were on the mark, but most weren't. I'm also perplexed by how everyone around me seems to have forgotten about Teeter's 2000 appearance. There's something more important in Teeter's tale. Or at least, I want there to be. Take out my phone and put it in my ear. It's me. <laughs> oh, don't be surprised. I've sniffed out an evil conspiracy. John Teeter, CERN. You see where I'm going with this. Yes, that's right. They're likely connected to the organization. <laughs> uh, coincidence? Come now, don't disappoint me. But evidence? Well, if you must know. Whispers. Whispers of my mad scientist intuition. Those bastards are trying to destroy the world. Yes, with many black holes. But what if we were to steal that technology? What then? <laughs> oh, of course. Who do you think I am? Everything is the choice of Steins Gate. El Sai Komu. Put away my phone, then turn to find Daru, giving me an exasperated look. Just who the hell are you fighting with? Daru. I know what we must do. Uh, was that? Don't you was at me? You're supposed to grin like you know exactly what you're talking about. What kind of super hack are you? I wanted to say something like, well, why the hell not? So what's in it for me? And then we continue like this, grinning slyly the whole time. Me. Oh, eat with the potato chips. Ten days. <laughs> you sure are a glutton. The dive makes you a hungry man. Deal. Get started. You got it, boss. Or something like that. Something like that? Oh, my Yuri. Thank you very much. Just hearing that from Okuri makes me happy. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I actually have two pages now. <laughs> Anyways. Yep, a real cool conversation. But the real Dar just purses his lips. You always give me such half-baked explanations. Try to sound intelligible before you try to sound intelligent. Work with me here. You are a super hacker. Uh, stop saying hacker. At least say hacker. Mm. See where I'm going with this? No, not at all. Hack into CERN. 
Dyer stares at me in disbelief. Uh, is that some kind of joke? <laughs> oh, I know you can do it, Daru. Expose their dastardly deeds and find any hint you can about the time machine. D dastardly deeds? You're just imagining that stuff, Ocarine. We stand at crossroads. Will the phone wave named TBA become a functional time machine, or will it die as garbage in lab storage? You serious? I'm always serious! I looked Daru straight in the eyes, I answer. Looks like that made him understand my position. Daru sweeps the garbage off his desk and sits up straight. I'm not responsible for the consequences. Got it? Suddenly, Daru is bursting with energy. It's like his early lethargy was a lie. <sighs> Deal. Get started. Let's do this! For your payment, I'll deposit a week's supply of potato chips into your Swiss bank account. Hmm. Dar doesn't respond. He's already deep in concentration. Anyway, I'm gonna sleep. It's all yours. I lie down on the sofa and let the clacking of Daru's keyboard lull me to sleep. I also think what's different from the anime is that Mayushi never left. She was still here, but she was upset that we no longer had a female, uh, female, uh, lab man. From Faris. Original sin level rising to 180%! Kelma, we're not braiding in the mundane world. You're supposed to be discreet now. Huh? You don't want to know. You don't want them to notice you. Remember, the summoning has taken two thousand years to prepare. If it fails, everything will be ruined. Although I suppose it might make things interesting, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a bad voice. I know. Operating the mundane world. I can be part of the mundane world. Nonsense. This town has belonged to chaos for centuries, as it shall forevermore. Are you suggesting that I, the great Hoenn Kioma, run and hide? Risk my uh, gap, girl. Two thousand. Is the church still devoted to that fool's errand? Even if they manage to resurrect the messiahs... Oh, God. Yeah, we're not going that fucking deep into this. Interesting. You. What are you scheming? Might make things interesting. What are you scheming? Um... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do this one. <clears throat> are you suggesting that I, the great... Holy and Kyoma, run and hide! You risk my ear, cat girl. Fuck, I didn't save for that one! Um, when was my autosave? Um, quick load? Mmm. Okay, 417. 427. I could. How, how, how much could one choice make a difference of, right? I mean, if we really had to, I could go farther back and make those choices again. Then we'd be here and it'd be fine. I don't, I don't need to, I don't need to worry about, about that. We're, we're fine. <laughs> Anyways, I wake up to the twilight sun streaming in through the window. A refreshing breeze blows in, softly brushing my cheek. That was exactly where I left him before I fell asleep. He's sitting in exactly the same position. Not much has changed besides his typing speed. Oh, and now he's muttering to himself. I guess he hasn't had any success at hacking yet. I look around at the room, but I can't find my Yuri. Maybe she's not coming today. I guess we related grudges really do run deep. I stand up and stretch! I don't wanna borrow Daru! I don't wanna bother do do I don't wanna bother Daru, so I don't say anything to him. Take a cold knock to pee out of the fridge and quench my thirst. Then I throw myself back down on the sofa and start browsing at you on my phone. Can I? Can I? No. And what perfect timing! Peter is currently posting in the thread. Oh boy, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> the Everett Wheeler model is correct. Please look it up to learn more. It seems you're all still clinging to the preconceived notions of time. Time does not simply run from past to future, like a car on a one-way street. To be more specific, the laws of casualty do not allow contradictions to occur. If the result of an event, the effect, is changed, the event itself, the cause, also changes to prevent a paradox. If the result of an event, 
is changed the event itself that caused so what what kind of thing would that be how how could you I don't really remember the law of casualty all that well so I don't know how that would really apply how would you make how would that be a paradox because all you're doing is preventing your your let, let, let's say that a house caught on fire because of a candle right but changing the effect how do you change the effect if you if Say the candle, like, lit a rug on fire, and that caused the whole house to caught on, catch on fire. If you put the rug out, then you're not really changing anything. Nothing really is changing there. I don't really understand how... What, I don't understand that. Anyways, whatever. That's why there are so few people, few people who can observe changes in divergence. Divergence being the world line's percent difference from the standard. Die, troll. You can't do a time traveler without any proof. Back trend, please. I'm counting on you, Mr. Time Traveler. I don't remember the, the these fucking numbers. Carry gun, count me out, me out. If you can't observe, if you can't observe changes in divergence, then how can you possibly measure it? Oh, I know. Your time machine has a magical device that measures it for you. La 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 la. Oh, and you still haven't explained how a research institution conquers the world. Details, Plox. Oh no, humanity's doomed. What has science done, that JPEG? Well, noobs responding seriously to a troll threat. This teeter guy's a shitty troll. Don't you people have anything to offer for science insults? How about contributing to the discussion, plebeian scum? If you assume that time doesn't flow in a straight line, then the idea of time travel is much easier to swallow. In such a scenario, time machine traveling to the past doesn't need to fight against the flow of time. I say Dieter's points have merit. By the way, Teeter. I'd like to know more about CERN. What can you tell us about their current activities? Tell me which horse wins the next Emperor's Cup. I'll put my entire life savings. Everett Wheeler model equals many worlds interpretation. Basically, that means parallel Willow Worlds. What's with all the stupid name tags? This hoeing Kyoma is more annoying than Teeter. You call yourself John Teeter, but you're fluent in Japanese. Writing in English would at least make it seem more realistic. You can't do English, can you? Can I ask you a favor, Tita san My mom died last year in the Shibuya earthquake. If I stop my, my mom from leaving home, then I can undo her death. So please, lend me your time machine. I guess, I, guess, I guess the names don't really matter. The ID might matter? I don't know. Whatever. You're gonna believe this time traveler? Lol. Without proof? Are you an idiot? No one seems particularly interested in what I said about time not flowing in a single direction. That's proof that your preconceptions are deeply ingrained. Honestly, it bothers me that you simply accept that as the truth. I'm starting to understand why CERN was able to take over so easily. Whenever a major event causes divergence to change, the timeline is reconstructed to prevent paradox from occurring. For example, yes, let's let, let's let's give let's see an example for this. For example, let's say that a major event causes this world line to diverge to a new world line. Call it World Line B. On World Line B, I'm afraid to say, that channel never existed. As the timeline is reconstructed, all of your memories of reading and posting on that channel will disappear, to be replaced by memories of you doing something else. In other words, by changing the present, you change the past. Wh what? No! You change the past, that changes the present! You're not changing the- What, what are you talking about, Teeter? That makes no- since if you change it so that at channel never existed yes your memories are replaced but that doesn't you never changed the present saying in this new world line at channel never existed that is the past by changing the past that at channel never existed you never receive these memories in the present so so no that's not changing the present that's changing the past change the present it's it's reverse of what you're trying to say i don't understand what you're trying to explain here i wrote about certain yesterday the only other thing i can say is that you must not believe their lies they have already succeeded at creating micro black holes kiri go gohan kamiyamiya i desire only to quench my intellectual thirst unlike you closed-minded individuals i reserve judgment until after i've heard what you has to say 
and then I will make contact with Teeter and acquire his time machine for myself. The great mad scientist, Hoi and Kiyoma, will have the last laugh. Suck it, sleaze bags. Tell me stock prices are fucking die. I won't believe until you tell me. That's not reconstructing the world, you idiot. That's altering people's memories. Who the hell can alter the memories of nearly 6.7 be billion people? Do you even realize how stupid that sounds? I think I would have noticed if something went and screwed with my brain. And what does that have to do with anything? And what does any of that have to do with the many worlds interpretation? Do some research, lol. Michael Black calls, la 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 la. Wait, you're just a wasteland? <laughs> that means I can be a road warrior, you'd ride a mod buggy, right? I'ma go right get me a mohawk. Anyone know I can buy spiked Jota pads? And I checked Cern's homepage. Says they've been experimenting since 2009. Can they really make black holes? What the hell's gonna happen? Does Teeter have a mohawk? God, that's fucking moe! Are you implying that our brains make the world? Are you saying that the universe is a giant tree and we're the branches or something? That's some evil level bullshit right there. Go back to 2036. Who the fuck was 314? Oh, right, right, that was, that was, uh, Curry. Is this how you apply to a su- Is this how you apply to a specific person? But thank you for showing me. Reconstruction of the timeline and alteration of people's memories. I think they're essentially the same thing. Why are you so intent on saying they're different? With a few exceptions, nobody can keep their memories across world lines. They are reconstructed along with everything else that when their divergence changes. What's a road warrior? Probably what you are, Teeter. Anyone home? I'm immersed in a heated internet argument when an unfamiliar voice interrupts me. Oh, door opens and a girl peeks inside. Hi. Um... What was your name again? I don't remember. I recognize her. Yeah, it's the girl I met yesterday at the Brontu workshop. Hi, I'm from the Brontu workshop. When our eyes meet, she smiles. TV you sent in for repairs has been fixed. Mind picking it up? Darius typing gets even faster. Looks like he's in the zone. It'd be a bad idea to disturb him with our voices. I nod to the girl and hurry outside. I don't remember your name. Why do you have to be sneaky? Uh, what was her name again? I think it was something like Arume or Amore. No, does it even start with A? Oh, right, Amane. Oh, right, Amane Suzuha. Right, I remember your last name, but not Amane. I guess your first name? I don't, I don't, I don't remember. Currently, my genius partner in crime is executing an important mission. I don't want to bother him. I'm sure she already knows what it is. Huh. What exactly do you guys do? I told you before that learning our secrets could put you and everyone you know in grave danger. You're called the Future Gadget Laboratory, right? Huh. How did you know that? I never told you. Wait, are you an organization spy? I raise my god and spring into praying mantis stance. But Suzu Hutch just stares blankly. That's what it said on your mailbox. Uh, oh. Well, my guard. Why didn't she just say so? <laughs> now that you know, it's not like you can unknown. I'll give you a short explanation, but you must not tell a soul. Suzu Hutch nods firmly. Is it just me or her eyes? gleaming. Well, the piss yellow, so we are the future gadget laboratory dedicated to defeating the evil organization that rules the world from the shadows. <laughs> wow! Is the evil organization CERN? Huh? Yeah. Yes, but oh, so I was right? Oh, those guys really are a contentable lot, aren't they? She nods towards over some reason. And contentable? I thought I was the one who uses words like that in normal conversation. How did you know we were hacking into CERN? What? You're hacking them? Right now? I mean my big mouth. J just answer my question! How did you know about our business with CERN? Ah. Uh, um. Well. Oh, well, <laughs> actually, I overheard you, I overheard you this afternoon. 
if you stand right here, you can hear stuff from the window. The window? Come to think of it, it was open, and Dara and I were talking loudly. But can you really hear us from here? I look up to the second floor. Window's still fully open, but I can't hear a thing. I guess Dara was working quietly. I look down. There's an unfamiliar bicycle parked in front of the Braun Tube Workshop. One of these mountain bikes. Its frame is all sparkly. Or one of those mountain bikes. Its frame is all sparkly. Its tires mostly clean. Yeah, it's probably new. Looks pretty fast. But whose is it? I wonder. Actually, I already know this. I, 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 I we should know this from the anime because she was already fucking riding it. In the anime, at least. I've only been working here for a day, but. This is a whole bunch of the Bronte workshop door with a wry smile. I've got a lot more free time than I expected. I've gone out four or five times today. Figured I'd re-coiner re the front of the store. See if I couldn't spot any customers. Poor Suzaha. Re-coiner? Now that is a word you don't hear in cover. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that word means. I'm pretty sure it means to perform reconnaissance. Oh, okay. Let's got an area and gather intelligence. She's some kind of secret agent. <laughs> She really isn't a member of the organization. Follow Suzuha into the store. The store, quote unquote. So that's when I heard you guys talking from the second floor. I got interested and looked it up online. Now I know all the rumors about Saren. Damn, we were careless. Looks like we need to close that window when we discuss sensitive matters from now on. But if we do that, that will turn into scorching hell. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. Who? Lukako. I made sweets. I baked cookies today. I had everyone in my family eat some and got their seal of approval. Would it be okay if I baked some for your lab mat? <clears throat> would it be okay if I baked some for your lab friends, Master? Oh, and it would be great if you could teach me some more techniques with Sami Dari whenever you have time. P.S. I managed to practice ten swings today. Um, bake cookies. Well done. We warmly recommend- we warmly welcome your refreshments, in fact. Um... Provide you with a maid uniform! Ho- ho- slow, slow it down! Slow it down, Okabe! Family? Sure get along with your family. How many families do you have anyway? Doki's insisting that the shrine maidens come in pairs. Should come in pairs. Uh, time? You mustn't depend on me. Remember, all things come to an end. Every meeting heralds a parting. I can't hide from the organization forever, and the seal on my arm grows weaker by the day. When I'm gone, you'll have to take care of yourself. Um... How many family- This seems nice, but it also seems weird. This seems nice-ish. We're just kind of... Asking how our family is, sure. Uh, anyway, you can't tell anyone else. Or else men in black will raid us. Uh, uh, yeah, I understand. I'm actually tight lived, so don't worry. Suza grins and thumbs her chest confidently. Wonder why. All is quiet inside the brawn tube workshop. That gigantic TV isn't on. Huh. Mr. Braun's not here either. Hold on, is that? Hmm. Is that the same as the anime? It might be, I guess. Maybe. I wouldn't know. Where's the manager? Oh, he left right after he finished repairing your TV. He probably went to see the chipmunk. He disappears during business hours every now and then. Whenever I ask him where he's going, he always says something like, I'm picking my beloved daughter up from school, or my beloved daughter is cold, with a huge grin on his face. He dotes on her too much. Probably just annoys her. Anyway, just how irresponsible can you be to neglect work to see your daughter? Hold, hold, hold on there, Oak Bay. Come on. You know, he, he's a good guy. He's going to see his daughter. He used to put a back soon on the door whenever he left. But now he has Suza had to take care of things when he's gone. So, here's the fixed TV. Suza lightly taps on the TV on the counter. He said to charge 1,000 yen. Damn manager. Bet he gave it to us just so he could charge repair fees. We let him take a bill out of my wallet and hand it to Suza. She takes out her seat. Apparently, it was already written out. Thanks for your patronage. Well, just take it away. By myself? Are you joking? Huh? Didn't you bring it here by yourself? 
Don't you know it takes ten times more effort to go downstairs or to go upstairs than down? Defying gravity is no easy task, woman. I guess I can help, but now oh, I see. We're already in the age where women can do physical labor. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're not used to that then. Wonder why. She mutters, her tone pensive. <laughs> How sarcastic of her. <laughs> I don't remember anyone asking for your help. Honestly, getting help from a girl like you would just hurt my pride. Wow. Applause. <laughs> that was so manly. I might be falling for you. Hmm, <laughs> you think you could trick me like that? You're lying, aren't you? Eh? What makes you think that? It's one of my powers. Coloring gentlemen! This power allows me to see through lies. Liars appear to glow red. Then they die. Ah. Uh, you, you have powers? Susan's eyes pop. Then she clears her throat as if to hide her surprise. <clears throat> Are you some kind of Esper? When I nod, she whispers into my ear. Are there a lot of Espers like you? Of course not. I am special. I thrust my chest out as far as possible to display my majesty. Oh, he had me scared for a second there. But still, it's amazing that people like you exist. Maybe certain is the reason that we're more where I come. From. Maybe certain is the reason there are more where I come from. After muttering some nonsense to herself, she finally nods in understanding. By the way. Does the ability to see through lies have any combat application at all? If it were me, I'd want to perfect my accuracy within a thousand meters, or ultra-fast reflexes that let me tear my enemy's limbs off before they can react. What the hell is she talking about? Is she a survival game otaku? No, wait, don't tell me! You... You're an organization assassin, aren't you? You must be the one they call Ms. Galgo! Who hired you? Nobody hired me. What's a Galgo? She's trying to gloss things over with an insincere smile. Her confusion is suspicious. That reminds me, I think I remember her saying something awfully disturbing things when we first met yesterday. Anyway, do you have any other powers? Mm, even if I did, there's no way I'd tell a hitman hired to kill me. I'm not gonna kill you. Mm, revealing my powers would be suicide. They are most effective with the element of surprise. In other words, they're for me to know, and for you to find out. Ah, uh, Meanie. Say what you like. Burning tension runs between us. Our eyes meet. Invisible sparks scatter. <sighs> Mail. From who? Shining finger. Oh, Bear Coon! I want you to fly me already. I've been waiting, you know? And please tell me if the super hack is addressing you can. If we don't get cracking, someone else might get to the Iron Man 5100 first! Oh, I got... 